Okay, so I need a vent. Um, and I want to talk about letting go of people and letting go of pain. I ran into this quote that pain is inevitable, but suffering is optional. And I just want to be happy. And I know people who might be watching this video, we all agree, we want to be happy. So for us to be happy, we try to avoid pain. I mean, it's human nature. But sometimes we put ourselves in situations where we're gonna experience pain. Yeah, I know it sucks. And I'm not saying it's either bad or good. So sometimes when we try to avoid pain, we tend to hold on. We tend to hold on to people, uh, situations, even feelings, um, and the fear of like losing them. But the ironic thing is, <laughs> when you're trying to avoid the pain, at the end of the day, you're gonna experience it anyway, right? And you know, pain is the perception that pe people might have. Some people might experience. Two people might have the same exact experience. One say, you know, it's I right, ain't no big deal. Another one, they feel it. They really feel it inside. So when we hold on and attach ourselves to things or people, we become vulnerable. And when we become vulnerable, our ego bruise and when our ego bruise we can respond in different ways it could be we can lash out have anger rage or we could just like hold all that emotions inside I'm a Leo and when I don't feel I'm being respected then I'm gonna roar like a lion now, I'm not roaring in the way of anger, but I'm still, <laughs> I'm going to be able to speak my mind. And then I'm also a quiet person. I'm very observant, but I'm very quiet. And there's times where I hold in those emotions. Either way, you lash out in anger or you hold it in. At the end of the day, you're suffering. And when you suffer, it's gonna cause dis-ease. And thank God that I don't have diabetes, I don't have high blood pressure, I don't have, um, you know, um, I, just, I just don't have those. And, I, and I'm glad because there was, going through major crises in my past caused me to be able to let certain things go. Now, it doesn't matter what you do, how good you are, how sweet you are, how much unconditional love that you put out there, you're always gonna lose something. You're gonna lose something eventually, and you're gonna feel some level of pain. So, okay, let me explain. There was a situation that happened yesterday, and I felt that level of pain, unfortunately. But it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first thing I realized, and this is the lesson that I've learned, um, and I actually, it, it was, like I said, it was an aha moment, to let go of certain people. Now, I have joined this group I'm not gonna mention the group. I'm not gonna go into all the information, but I, I entered this group a couple of years ago. And when I entered this group, there was three particular goals that I wanted to do. A, to be able to serve and support my community. Second one was to meet beautiful, inspiring black women. Um, and I did. I did, I have chills just thinking about some of the, the women that I have met. 
Um, however, not everyone in that group is going to give off that great energy. That's just reality itself. And I realized that there were certain people in that group that really was vibrating at a low frequency. And at the time, I just couldn't figure it out. Like every time I was around them, it just the energy, the, the aura, the energy was different. So I finally, it came to fruition and that some people could be so cutthroat and be bullies. But here's my thing. I had an illusion thinking that if I joined this group, that it was gonna bring me some form of happiness, right? All together, without any type of drama, or any, you, like you, you don't expect something like that sometimes, you know? And um, I joined this group to to open up more doors for opportunities to be connected to certain people, especially in my community, right? Because, you know, op doors for opportunities are open, you be happy, right? So, number two, I had to let go of certain circumstances that had happened. Now, I had volunteered to be a, um, a co-chairman of a technology committee. And if people don't know, that's my background. I'm, I'm into web, I design, I am a programmer, I'm a developer. So that's my true passion. And one of the other goals of joining this group is to, to, to show them, not so much a showing at first, but more of offering my, my talents and gift. Volunteer. And I spent hours, hours working on a particular project for this group. I put in time and I put in money. And it was taken from me. When I found out, now I was told, not found out, I was told that it was taken from me. And the first thing I thought, I, I felt robbed. And it kind of reminds me of a situation that happened years ago when I was younger that I got scammed for thousands of dollars. When that situation happened, it triggered what happened in the past. And it didn't feel good. It, 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 it hurt because that was my signature. That was my, 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 my passion. So I'm thinking, hey, if I give my passion, if I give um, what I love, then you're not gonna take it from me. Like, who does that? You know? So, um, before I get into more of that, number three was to let go of the feelings. So when I received this news yesterday, I, for the rest of the day, rest of the night, I kept thinking about it, I kept thinking about it, I kept thinking about it. I would just ponder on it like all day. And I feel, I feel pain. I feel hurt about what happened. And I didn't want this pain to linger on. I, I, I didn't want it to linger on. Um, and I think the part that hurts the worst is that person showed no remorse. Sorry, I had to fix the phone. Um, so um, after going through this inner dialogue, when I was realized, okay, <laughs> these are the lessons I've learned, you know, I realized that I was actually like pinning my, my happiness to people and circumstances. And, um, and at the end of the day, some people just don't care. They never cared. 
It was about what they can get from you, either money or your, your talent or, or time. So instead, um, I want to share what I do to help let go. Um, this is something I've been practicing for quite some time. And, um, and I had to do that last night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm still doing it now. But you'll find out. So the first thing I um, first realized that nothing is permanent. Nothing in life is permanent. People are seasonal. People come in and out of your life for a purpose. And that purpose could be, you may not know what that purpose is, but that purpose could be to teach you a lesson. And then once you have learned that lesson or been taught that lesson, then, you know, they might go their separate ways, you know? But if you have friends, and I have friends, I do, and friends that love me, friends who would not let me fall, that is priceless. That is bigger than <laughs> anything. So when I lose someone, it's not really a big deal, right? Especially if that, that person or people show their true colors. And if you don't like it, well, you know, why would you still wanna be around and deal with these type of people, right? So nothing is permanent, but one thing, I've noticed last night, and like I said, with this, <laughs> you know, the energy is, I received a couple of um, text messages last night. And, you know, and these people did not know what the hell was going on. They don't even know if I joined this group. But I guess with my energy, it's, it's something, it was a calling that, you know, that caused them to contact me to say, Hey, Nan, I'm just thinking about you. How you doing? And that's freaking amazing. <laughs> it is it's so freaking amazing because now I know that, um, that I can get other people to, to heal me. And it was, it was beautiful. And if you don't have a lot of friends, then you friend yourself. It's easier to let go when you know your own self-worth. So, yes, I realized, hey, nothing's permanent. I got some good love, good energy from friends. Um, the other thing is I realize, or, you know, yeah, I realized that I don't have the expectation on the outcome of any situation. Now, I've been practicing this, especially in the dating scene. This is a really good tip, so I want you to check this out. <laughs> When you have expectations of an outcome from a situation, and if it doesn't work out, what happens? You feel disappointed. But when you don't have the expectation, you think it, okay, if it happens, it happens, but don't, don't. It won't feel so bad when it doesn't work out in your favor. I'm saying this is also like a great <laughs> dating tip, but the fact is, you know, um, appreciating what I've learned. And that's what I do. I, I appreciate the lessons that I've learned from the situation and what blessings has came from it. And like I said, I received the blessings from meeting some great people, serving, supporting the community, and, and you know, donating my time, just with my talent and skills. So, I realize that letting go is a blessing, you know? It, sometimes you just have to see it, you know? And I saw it, I saw it yesterday. But when, when you don't have expectations, like I said, it just, it, it just won't feel so bad. Like you could feel it, um, but it doesn't last very long, if that, if that makes sense. The other thing I had to do is allow myself to feel the pain. You know, I could be like a tough girl sometimes, but um, me doing the self-development and be on the spiritual journey, um, 
I'm gonna be able to release it in a healthy way. You know, so last night, yeah, I did, I cried. I cried to release all of that anger. You know, I, I got on the phone and talked to uh, another good friend just to vent. And, you know, I started writing and I started taking that pain and transmute in that into something positive. And this is the video. This is the outcome of my pain is to, to teach others and, and first let you know that I am not perfect. No, as a healer, people think I'm supposed to be like, I could take every hit, slap, punch. But no, I have self-worth and I'm not going to allow that to happen. So, um, uh, what else can you do? Oh, have sex. That's one thing that, you know, you could do to help release some of that frustration. I mean, that works too. Afterwards, you probably won't be so bad. Um, <laughs> but, um, but that's what I did. I went and focused on, um, I allow myself to feel the pain. And what I did is, you know, one of my friends, Don P, he was on his show. It was like, a, it was like 6.35. I texted him, I was like, hey, you want a guest on the show? And he was like, yeah, what do you wanna talk about? I said, I got something to talk about. Now, I wasn't talking about this situation, but I was talking about something else I was very passionate about. And when I got off the phone, I felt freaking amazing. Cause like, I really shift that energy and from being hurt, feeling pain to like, oh my God, I'm just so freaking unstoppable. Like no one's gonna allow me, no one is gonna continue to put me down. Cause I'm just way stronger than that. Way stronger. And you know, it's, it's yeah, just focus on, on stuff that you learn, like you love, like you can um, serve and teach others. And then, like I said, that's what I'm doing this video to, to let other people know like, yeah, pain hurts. But that doesn't mean you have to suffer it. And I just choose not to suffer. And when you do something that you truly love, you are releasing all of that obsession about what happened in the past. What you could have said, what you could have done differently. Like, you know, you know mm -mm. it just, it doesn't, I don't know, just, I don't know. <laughs> It, it doesn't really, it's, it's hard to explain, but it doesn't feel um, so bad. So before I went to bed, I send some love and energy to that person. And, and the reason why I did that is because, you know, even though that person was cold, and even though there was people that I've met in that group that was a bully, hey, I can't judge them. Because you know why? Because I used to be cold. I used to be a bully. So I can't really judge them. But that doesn't mean I have to exert my energy and be around people who's gonna um, demean me. No, uh -uh -uh. I have too much self-worth, like too much. So when I woke up this morning, the first intuitive insight that I had was let it go. No, don't make those phone calls. No, don't send those emails. And, 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 and say, you know, how pissed you are. No, I didn't have to do that. You know, just let it go and focus on what I love to do. And that's why I did this video. So, thank you for listening. I appreciate it. And thank you for watching. Happy healing. Bye. I love you.